to introduce this first. Today we begin our special five-part series, Nor'easter Winter's Hurricane, and we begin with a look at three of the most powerful Nor'easters in history. Let's take a look. <laughs> Many nor'easters are blizzards. Nor'easters can even be as powerful as some hurricanes are. Nor'easters, most of the damage is caused by water, not by wind. Throughout history, nor'easters have taken a significant toll on beaches and coastal communities along the eastern seaboard. The Halloween storm of 1991 was one of the most extreme nor'easters in the past 50 years. It was incredible to see roofs of houses and sections of buildings floating in amongst the boats. Uh, it was just incredible. It was an absolute science, uh, scene of devastation. More than 1,000 houses were damaged or destroyed from Maine to the Carolinas. The storm's impact was felt as far south as Florida. This storm suddenly intensifies. We were getting reports of mountainous seas and high winds. Ships reported seas between 80 and 100 feet high. New England's beaches were devoured by 15-foot waves, and winds gusted to over 70 miles per hour. This nor'easter lasted almost five days and eroded over 1,000 miles of coastline. I remember listening to the radio, and the reporter had said, uh, Baltimore's leading with five inches per hour. By the time the President's Day storm of February 1979 was over, much of the Mid-Atlantic region was buried under 20-plus inches of snow. I opened up the front door, and you could see nothing. It was really the first time I truly saw uh, what meteorology is called a whiteout. Washington, D.C. was at a standstill. The Potomac, a river of white. Around Raleigh, North Carolina, icy roads and runways made transportation almost impossible. The President's Day storm shows how much snow can occur with a nor'easter. The Ash Wednesday storm of 1962 struck the coast with surprising intensity. In Ocean City, the entire town was underwater. After the water receded, there was sand everywhere. It reached its peak the morning of March 7th. Rain, snow, sleet, and wind battered the East Coast for five days. When it was over, 33 people were dead, and damage totaled close to $200 million. This storm rearranged the coastline from New Jersey to North Carolina. Even today, the shoreline is not the same as it was before the storm of March of 62. Nor'easters will continually redesign North America's eastern seaboard and the people who choose to live there will continue to rebuild. History proves that nor'easters rank high among nature's most destructive storms. I'm Charlie Welsh, The Weather Channel. Join us tomorrow. And now your local forecast. Accurate, convenient, and dependable. Only on The Weather Channel.
Weather Channel can give you 